Hello, Leo. Let's go ahead and get started with your 2023 forecast. Let's see. What is the theme for Leo Spirit? Please show me Leo. Wow. All right. We've got Leo Angelic Protection. So you've got angels protection, protecting you, excuse me, um, every step of the way through 2023. So even when things seem scary and you feel like you can't fight another day, I will tell you that you have angelic protection. So this card says, a brilliant light of protection is around you at this time. Angels are guide, guiding and guarding you and want you to know that you are safe. Whether you're feeling worried about physical, emotional, or spiritual harm or not, this card is confirming that you have spiritual protection. Your angel guide is supporting you and leading you toward positive experiences out experiences and outcomes. If you have decisions to make or opportunities to take and you are unsure of what to do, what this card is bringing you is comfort and support. The angels who are with you only need a prayer from you in order to swoop in and guide you. You have to ask your angels and guides for their protection and their, for their help. Otherwise, you have human free will and they can't really step in the way. They can guide you in certain areas, but other areas you have to ask for that. You are protected. The worst is now behind you and you are ready to move beyond the challenges that you have been facing. The past has gone and your angel guide is encouraging you to let it go. If traumatic or painful memories have revisited you recently, know that they are opportunities to recognize how far you have come and acknowledge how much healing has taken place in your life. When you have reflected on these shifts, leave the past behind and move forward. The present is only a gift if you are able to receive it. If you are facing the unknown at this time, know that your angel guide will show you the next steps and you will be surrounded by a spiritual force field that will protect you on all levels as you move forward. I love this energy for you, especially because you guys have had Saturn in your seventh house of relationships and partnerships. So you guys have really had to learn how to set boundaries in your own life. And so maybe some people have left your life. So it's saying have patience. Things are uh, manifesting behind the scenes for you, especially for a new path. You got temperance as your major arcana uh, theme for the year. New paths are going to be opening up. And look at this. Now you've got two angels showing up in your reading. So definitely have divine protection, but this is all about patience. This is all about, you know what? It's really funny. I see the crown in the background and that is so you, Leo, you know, putting your crown on. So you are being led towards your kingdom. So for maybe for some of you, you know, you're wanting to buy a home, uh, you know, or maybe you're wanting to move. Uh, for others of you, you uh, want a promotion at work and you want the recognition, but just so you know that there are things manifesting in the background for you now. So I feel like for a lot of you, you have a lot of spiritual warriors that are working behind the scenes. Um, to help you on this journey. So, you know, maybe for some of you, you need to drink more water, maybe get out to the water more. Um, and I feel like really tuning into those emotions and staying as grounded as possible. I see alchemy for you. Okay. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? So are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. So today make a list of all the things you will gain from the change that you are going through. Feel your heart, take a breath, and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. So I feel like for a lot of you, uh, Leo, you maybe you've gone through some type of health issues as well and I feel like also there's going to be a lot of healing there for you you could come into alignment with a lot of different healers you have Pluto getting ready to transit into uh, your seventh house of relationships so Pluto is about where have you been giving away your power and control I do feel like business endeavors can be a lot more prominent especially if you guys are in you know the medical or scientific or um um, 
or healing, some type of healing, uh, you know, massage therapists. I know a lot of Leos who are massage therapists. Um, a girlfriend of mine, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Um, you know, she's also a Leo. So, um, you know, I definitely do feel like uh, healers are definitely going to be in the forefront of the game. Okay. And so, wow. He, uh, wow. Okay. Um, and maybe you could, some of you guys are teachers. You got spiritual teacher. You got amethyst. Okay. So are you aware of of your empathic connection with others. It is time to recognize your ability to discern your own thoughts and feelings from those outside of you. Develop your intuitive abilities and use them to assist others as they deal with life's issues. Be aware of being aware. So for some of you, you guys are definitely in the uh, education field. You guys are teachers of some sort and whatever you're doing, you're definitely on your spiritual path. The next card you got out and for some of you, maybe you have cancer in your chart because I just pulled this one. Was it cancer or Gemini? Mm, I don't remember. Sorry. Uh, pay, uh, check your sun, moon, and rising. You got wealth manager, red tiger's eye. Are you good at managing your money and planning for your financial future? Take the time to look at how much cash you have at your disposal. Determine and implement a long-term financial plan. I believe it was Gemini. Um, tap into your inner entrepreneur as you responsibly control your financial accounts. So that goes back to what I'm talking about. If you're wanting to buy property or you're wanting to buy something for the business, you know, or you're wanting to invest in something, I definitely feel like you need to be more, um, you know, frugal when it comes to your money. And you know what? I forgot to read the affirmation for the spiritual teacher. I easily transform and transmute challenging situations. I am aware of the mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical aspects of myself and others. I am extremely intuitive and that you are. Uh, your affirmation for the wealth manager and your finances says, I am good at managing an un the unlimited income I earn. I am good at financial planning and grateful for the know-how to manage great wealth. I am successful successful and prosperous. Okay. And for some of you, maybe you're a writer or maybe you want to start writing a book. We've got uh, angel light. So again, there's that word angel again. So we've got all these angels protecting you. Do you enjoy writing? You are often inspired to create something. So take action. Recognize that you are prolific. Tune into your muse and align with the flow and mental clarity. Allow yourself to step forward and put your ideas into place at this time. Writing is cathartic. Your affirmation says, my creative juices are flowing. My mind is clear and bright. I always find the right words when speaking or writing and people listening to me. So now you got two cards of education, okay? So definitely I feel like a lot of my Leos, maybe you're working with some of you because Leo does rule children. Um, but it does not have to be young children. It can just be students in general. So I feel like a lot of you Leos are teachers of some sort. So I feel like, you know, because we talk about gains and, and loss, you know, what are you gaining? What are you losing? Make sure that you're paying to attention to the ebb and flow of your finances. What is it that you're putting out? And are you um, able to bring that back in? Okay, let's go ahead and look at your finances. Spirit, please show me finances for Leo. Finances for Leo. Okay, wow. Finances. Ooh, we got manifesting. There it is. All right. Wow. And grow. Ooh, I love this. Okay, reconsider a decision. So you need to reconsider whatever um, decisions that you're making. Maybe for some of you, you're like, uh, you know, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. So really sit back and reconsider. Uh, the first card out you got, manifesting. You have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming soon. An opportunity may come to you where you can showcase your talents. So you guys are the manifestors, you know. You guys are able to manifest on, you know, much wealth. Okay. And so try not to settle. Perhaps it's time to ask yourself if you're getting paid what you're worth. Maybe for some of you, it's time for a raise. Don't settle for a dead end job where you don't see any opportunity for growth. Though your money is stable, you are not making enough to keep you happy. Okay. So maybe for some of you, maybe it's because you guys are putting out too much and you need to make sure that you have your, what debt to, you know, uh, 
gain ratio or whatever they they say. I'm, I'm not getting it right now. But growth. Expect good news and money matters, a raise or a new job offer. Just like I said, maybe it's time for a raise. Money will soon start flowing to your business, promising opportunities awaiting. Maybe for some of you, you need to collaborate. Maybe for some of you, you need to bring in more teachers, okay? Maybe that would be a really good thing. Maybe that's what you need to reconsider, you know, is bringing in other people into the fold, but needing to trust. Listen, you've got angelic protection. So maybe you need to reconsider the way that you're doing things so that you're working smarter and not harder, okay? Um. I really like this energy for you, Leo. I think 2023 is going to be a very lucrative year. You've definitely got a lot of protection. You, Like I said, you've got Pluto coming in to that seventh house. That is a lot of taking back your power. And also because it's Aquarius, it's where can you bring the community into what you're doing. More humanitarianism is going to be very lucrative for my Leos. Anyway, Leo, I want to welcome you guys into 2023. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading to look at your own personal 2023 overview, I would be happy to assist. Anyway, Leos, thank you again. I love you all so much and we will chat again soon. Take care.